Hi betting experts, on Friday the 2nd of October, first of all look back at our two bets at Salisbury. On Thursday we're off to Ascot on Friday, the start of a really good couple of days at the Berkshire venue. The weather forecast diabolical, loads of rain, I'm expecting the conditions to ease and probably quite dramatically so. I've made our selections with that in mind. We start off with the value angle selection in the 155, this is the Berkshire Youth Classified Stakes. Over a mile, class three, three year olds and upwards, £7,763 on offer. It's attracted an interesting field. I do think the ground might have gone for most of them, but that's certainly not the case for Baden Scoth of Dean Ivory. Now, this six year old is hardly in the first flush of youth. He's won seven times from 32 career starts, amassing over £44,000 in prize money. He comes here in career best form. He's basically run himself fit since 224 days off the track. Uh, starting off with a fairly promising run at Newbury, then going to Kempton on the all-weather, improving when third back at Newbury, and then last time at Goodwood, the ground turned really soft, and he was impressive. He made most of the running, was harried, quickened three furlongs out, ridden along, and stormed clear again when pressed in the final furling. It was a taking display. He stays a mile too well. In fact, he stays a mile four. This drop back to a mile need not be any issue at all, and George Downing is sure to be extremely positive. The more rain that falls, the better for his chance and I'm confident he'll take a plenty of beating. For our nap of the day, we go to the 2.30. This is the Teen Tech Noel Merlis Stakes. Over a mile six, a listed contest. Class one, three-year-olds only. £22,684 on offer. It's attracted a disappointing field size, but they are a small but select bunch. And I think that Roger Ver, uh, Simon and Ed Christmas, without a fight rather, can improve past higher rated rivals. Now this one comes here on something of a roll. He's won three of his career starts um, so far from four attempts, starting off just on the 11th of June at Newbury when in need of the run in a very warm maiden that's worked out well. Then sent to Redcar, justifying hefty cash in style over a mile two. And Newbury on soft ground, he was really impressive in a novice stakes um, in the middle of August there, held up well out the back, cruising through under Atzani and winning with any amount in hand. He loves soft ground and that's going to be very important today. Um, if you look at his latest run at Haydock, it was only a five runner race. He was driven along um, some way out there, looked in a bit of trouble, but stamina is his game and he was very strong at the finish to power clear from Toronto. This extra two furlongs promises to bring about plenty more improvement. And I think he will relish it with the rain very much in his favour and at Zaney up again. The main danger is likely to come from Berkshire Rocco of Andrew Balding, who's been running well in warm company all summer without getting his head in front. His latest effort when second behind Galileo Chrome in the St Ledger at 16 to 1, just touched off right on the line there, having raced with Zest, um, is obviously the clear standout piece of form on offer. But he did have quite a hard race there. He's only won one from eight in his career. And while he does go on soft ground, he might just lack the improvement of our selection. Best of luck on Friday, betting experts.